try something here. I'm going to try to video this with my camera sideways so I get a wide shot. And then I'm going to try to flip it because I know they come. My wide shots always seem to come out sideways, so I'm going to try to flip it um, and go ahead and do this video. It's August, I don't know, I think it's August 2nd or August 3rd, 2019. This is my pond after my experiment with my ducks where I had um, the ducks. I bought six ducks to come in and clean out my pond a couple years ago, two years ago in May or March. And um, I had them for about a year and a half before they all wound up. I think two of them wound up at the lake and four of them died. Two of them were taken by coons. One of them, I think, actually, I think three of them were taken by two coons because one of them got uh, kind of sickly and uh, the coons got him. And uh, I can't remember how the other one died. Or maybe he didn't die. Maybe they're, oh, he never came back. So I don't know. I assume they flew away one day. And he never came back, and they were rather young when they flew away that day. So I don't know if he made it to the lake or not, but two of them did make it to the lake. Um, I live in Ozaki, Kansas, and I'm not too far from Lake Perry. My property isn't, and um, probably, oh, I'd say 100 yards to the lake through those woods up there. Um, and my pond was full. It was full of these water lilies and uh, just overgrown. It looked kind of pretty, but you could, you know, it got so bad. Well, you couldn't even see the water anymore. It was so thick in here. So I had to do something. So what I was going to do was I was going to hire a man to come in with a backhoe and um, clean it out. But I had that done once, years ago. And when they do that, they take all the mud from the bottom. And you might as well not even have a pond if you're not going to have any mud in the bottom. Because the mud keeps the plants growing, helps the fish, and the turtles. So I decided I didn't want to lose all my mud. So I got some ducks because I knew the ducks would eat everything in the pond. So I got the ducks in the spring because I knew that the plants um, would start growing in the springs and the ducks like the new shoots. They like to eat the new shoots off the plants. So when I got the ducks, of course, that's what they did. They ate everything in this pond. If you watch my other videos, you'll notice that um, I have the ducks and they're about the ducks. And um, But this is mainly... It was mainly about my pond and how to clean it out um, without destroying nature's buildup of that mud. And uh, it worked. It worked really good. This spring, I put those plants in, those water lilies, some water hyacinths, I think they're called. And there's a water plant down there. Um, it's for a fish tank, but... Uh, they work, and they they over they overwintered one winter for me, so I know they work. And uh, uh, there's another plant over there. I don't know what it is. I need to look it up. And when I had the ducks in, I decided to try some yoga boxes and put some flowers in them um, because I knew the ducks wouldn't eat marigolds. So that's what I did. Then, as it turned out, I like the yoga boxes in here because. They do. They're wonderful. They float around the pond, and you can have flowers in them. I tried different varieties of flowers in them. Um, but uh, I found that not only did the, didn't the ducks eat the marigolds, but the marigolds stand out against that green. Um, I put some more. I have like six or eight of them, and... Uh, they just float around the pond. Um, they they got some weeds in them now. I need to weed them. I need to get down there and weed them. I still have 
my Hollywood rock is what I call it. That's my fake bird in the weeping willow tree that grows over this deck. That's my Hollywood rock. It's a rock my daughter found for me years ago down at the lake, and I thought it looked like one of those fake Hollywood rocks that people lift up and throw around. So I bring it home, put it on the pond, put it on the pond, and he has moss that grows around the side of it. So I think it looks really good like a rock, and it also floats around like those boxes. And the turtles actually push that Hollywood rock around. They actually push those um, Yoda boxes, yoga boxes around. Um, and uh, there's the bench. And what you're seeing there is a weeping willow that I have growing up over this deck. There's a little lattice roof on this deck. And um, I trained the weeping willow tree that is on the far side of the deck, on this side, on the left side of the deck, to, um, that's a rope holding it up. Um, there's the waterfall. The waterfall, I think, looks natural. Um, I did that years ago, but, uh, you know, it's pretty covered with uh, growth right now, but it is August. It's the dead of summer, so... You know, everything is in, uh, and a lot of that is wildflowers, and that's uh, periwinkle. I think it's called periwinkle, that undergrowth. But uh, that's when all that other stuff is gone, that stands out in spring. Anyway, here's my weeping willow that I have trained to go up over the deck. But uh, uh, I have more fake birds. I do have, I try to keep the pond natural, and... Saying that, um, I, with an exception of my fake ducks and my fake deer over there, but um, as far as the, I don't have any fake plants, I guess you'd call it. It's kind of a, I don't know, I guess it's, it's kind of a mix of different stuff. Um, we have another weeping willow tree over there, and put a uh, little bench in over there on the other side and uh, that floating thing I don't like that in here I'm probably going to move move that uh, that's so the Yoda boxes and the Hollywood rock won't uh, uh, get in that back area it's hard to get those out of there when it gets when they get stuck in there but see it stops those boxes and you know that that Yoda yoga box right now is moving. It's not because there's a breeze out here. It's moving because there's fish under it. The fish even push those. They move so well in the water that the fish are actually able to kind of, I don't know if they're pushing it around or you get a bunch of them under there. They, um, they, uh, it moves. It moves for them real well. But, uh, the pond came out just, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't be happier with it. Well, I, you know, there's always something else you could do, but for now I'm happy. I'm throwing fish food in, because what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to get the turtle to come up. Um, uh, he used to come up, if I threw fish food in, what he would do, he would, you could actually see him walking through the the water lilies, the water lilies would move. And then all of a sudden the turtle would come up because he would swim through those water lilies but um, to get to the food. And he always came up in front of me here. But that was years ago. I don't, uh, I haven't seen him um, in a few months, maybe a month or so. And I think there's three of them in here. Uh, I think they're fairly good size too. I mean, they're not, babies and juveniles they're probably oh, four inches across that one i he might be five or six inches across i don't know that's hard to judge when you're looking at him in the water you know i could get him out of the water and say oh geez he's only three inches so that is hard to judge when you're looking at him from a distance 
And of course your eyes are always bigger than what the actual animal is, you know. Um, but those are the those are uh, water irises that made it even to the ducks. I, I found a I figured out that <clears throat> if you let the water irises grow and you put the ducks in, the ducks really they chew at the bottom of them, but they kind of leave them alone because they don't really like those long shoots but they do like the roots so um, some of them they managed to destroy that I left growing like that but those made it those over there has made it to the ducks and I got some through that thing that made it through the lattice you can kind of see it um, that made it through the ducks but the rest of them all they're all gone I got um, land irises. Um, I call them land irises. They're just irises, but I call them land irises because I talk about water irises a lot in my videos. Um, but I got regular regular land irises all planted in there, and there are a lot of wildflowers. There's something about wildflowers you need to know. You know, you buy them, and they show all these beautiful water water wild flowers on the package but they neglect to tell you um i guess maybe they do you just gotta read the package that they don't bloom all at once they're sporadic you know some may bloom in may some bloom in june some bloom in july and some in august and so you know you're not getting getting all those flowers at once um it would be nice and i suppose if if you got some that, <clears throat> I guess there's not too many flowers that bloom year-round. A marigold does, and these water lilies seem to bloom a lot. Um, and then, yeah, I suppose there's other, there's other flowers. I just don't know what they are that bloom constantly. Um, I, I might get, well... You know, you can't get that much dirt in one of those Yoda boxes when you, even by <clears throat> taking the centers out of them. But it's enough to keep those marigolds growing. Um, and, but you couldn't put anything big in them. You know, any kind of a, you know, you couldn't put a three inch flower in them. You, um, you know, like, you just. The smaller ones work best, but I have, I've tried, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, marigolds, and, uh, oh, I can't even think now what else I have tried in them, but <clears throat> I think the pond has turned out really well. My water, I took those chairs out, you'll see in other videos, I had chairs in here that, um, they worked. They worked for the ducks because I was able to keep a few plants on top of them. But once the ducks were gone, the chairs are gone. And those um, fairies are actually sitting on top of a table that the ducks used to like to s jump on. But And there's and that uh, water sprinkler, it worked perf perfect in here because when you turn around, it goes around in circles in it. And it waters the whole Pond. In fact, I'll try to turn it on and see if it works. And try to walk slowly and see if I can get it turned on to show you. That's my grapevines, which need... I got a Rose of Sharon growing there. If I can think how to turn this on. It's on auto. I have, um, huh, oh, I think it, oh, I don't know how to turn it on. Well, that's too bad.
Oh, I think I just turned it on. It's not working real well because the water pressure isn't very good right now. Yeah, because the center thing isn't moving. The water pressure is not good enough right now. Steve, do you have the water on? All right. But anyway, it looks pretty cool when it, um, <coughs> when that center one's moving too. But, uh, I'm going to leave it on for a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to have to leave it on because I don't think I know how to turn it off. It's on an automatic thing. When it comes on to put water in the pond um, for, I think, two hours a day. Um, yeah, two or th yeah, two hours. I Every day comes on for two hours. So, yeah, I guess the pond might cost me a little bit in water. But, you know, it's probably like four people a day taking a shower. So, yeah, I guess I spend a little bit of money on water. But, uh, I like the pond. I like the fact that it's this size. It's in my backyard. It's not too small. It's, and, and it's really not too big. Sorry about that. I did that because I didn't want water to get on the camera um, to see if water was hitting was hitting me. It's hitting my legs, but um, it seems to be missing the camera. I mean, I suppose that camera lens. And then I have my I have my regular cameras, and the, guess what those are? That white stuff? Those are uh, cat collars to keep flea and ticks away, and they work because I get ants in those cameras, and so we had to figure out a way to stop the ants from getting inside the cameras. So, you know, so far they've worked. I'm not saying that there's a guarantee that those flea and tick collars are working. But, so far, the ants don't go inside the cameras anymore. It is keeping the bugs away. And they're kind of keeping the spiders and the spider webs away. So, well, I'll have to give it a year, or till the end of August, to see if they really do work. We kind of just put them on about a month ago. and uh, But so far, they've worked. They're, it's, it's a cat flea and tick color. Stuck it, wrapped it right around that camera up there. Those cameras aren't working very good for me anymore, so I need to either buy new ones or give the video up because they're not, that's why I'm using my cell phone, which I'm going to try to flip, flip this before I upload it. But that's my, that's my pond. Um, and it, it it still amazes me how well it worked. I mean, I can't... It, it saved me $4,500. Um, just to... You know, by the time he moved the, the dirt and he, he placed the dirt somewhere and, and all that, that's what it was going to cost. And, uh, yeah, my water cost me some and um, the ducks were a little bit of a nightmare, you know, for a little bit of a while. Um, <clears throat> but it sure, I suppose, all said and done, I might have spent a, at the maximum, a thousand dollars. And that would be maximum. That would be including the plants the ducks ate. Um, I, I, and I could have taken those plants and sold them on eBay, but oh my God, you know, that's a lot of work and I'm not exactly a young chicken. So, um, that would have been too much work for me to get in here and dig them up and sell them on eBay. Although they go for like, I don't know, 
five bucks a piece. Some of them go for more. I was hoping the turtle would come up. Now with the sprinkler going, I don't know if he will. <coughs> but uh, having the ducks cleaned out, it just worked. You don't want to get attached to the ducks. I raised them, by the way, I raised the ducks to be wild. They taught themselves just to fly. They taught themselves, they figured out where the lake was. They flew in the sky, way up high, up in the sky there. I never got them on camera up in the sky. Um, but uh, they would fly, they would come in, or they'd spend the day up in those woods, you know. And uh, they just lived here. And then they would eat down there by that feeder. There's a feeder down there by that fake deer. They would walk down there and feed themselves, and uh, I didn't have to take care of them at all. Once they got old enough, um, they just took care of themselves, uh, which was just wonderful. I mean, the you know, the last, I'd say the last year of their life, I didn't take care of them, other than providing food, but I didn't have to do anything. Um, I tried, like, I desperately tried to keep the coons away. They laid eggs and everything. They were going to hatch them. But the coons got to the eggs. And now we got a dog. And uh, it's actually my son's dog. But we wound up, we, we, the, we adopted the dog, I guess you would say. Um, and uh, the coons don't come up here by the pond anymore. Although as soon as I got ducks, they probably would. But I don't plan on getting ducks again. Not for a long time. Uh, because, well, a year and a half with ducks was enough. But I just can't get over how well it turned out. And everything's growing. The trees are growing. Of course, we got a lot of rain this year. I don't know. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything, of telling you anything. Um, and I don't think I am. And this video is getting a little long. But uh, I wanted to make sure I got everything in. Now, this is my last video on how to, how to clean your pond using ducks. How to clean your backyard pond using ducks. It worked. It worked wonderful. Okay, thanks everybody for watching my videos. And um, there's like 26 of them. Watch them all. There can be a little boring, but if you ain't got nothing to do on a Sunday afternoon, they're fun to watch. I mean, I don't narrate a lot of it. And... Uh, I didn't realize that you're supposed to probably talk in these things because people don't want to just look at a screen. Um, but it's hard to keep talking. And uh, sometimes I wanted myself to shut up <laughs> from the ones that I watch. So, you know, either way, talking or no talk, you know, um, it's a process of, of, of learning. Just like it was with the pond. Trial and error. This is a 22, 20 or 22 years I've had this pond. And I know you're probably going to remember, really? <laughs> but it taken, that his banks were bare. This was a mess over here. And it was, you know, oh, the, it shut off. It finally shut off. Uh, you know, trying to figure out how to do it. I only did a little each year because, like I said, I'm I'm old. And so, doing just a little each year was best for me and a lot less costly. You know, buying those plants and stuff, all that stuff costs money. But, um, I'd like to thank everybody if you followed or watched my videos. Um, I don't think... No, well, I don't think I can remember anything else, any other information I would have for you. 
it's kind of sad that I have to call it quits. But I'll be quiet now for the last couple of minutes. Can you listen? You can hear the waterfall and you can hear the bugs in the background. It's a dead summer day. It's the silence that I like to come down here, down here to, to listen to and just look at the pond and wait for the turtle to come up and watch the fish. I only wish it was a, the water was clear today. Okay, everybody, that's about 28 minutes of video of my how to clear, clean, last video of how to clean, clean your pond using ducks. This is the aftermath. August 2nd, 2019. Thank you and have a good day.